This morning, tens of millions of Americans are again waking up under winter weather alerts. So far, more than 30 deaths have been linked to the frigid weather over the past week. An ice storm slammed parts of the Pacific Northwest, bringing freezing rain and snow, creating whiteout conditions and causing road closures. In the south, drivers in central Alabama actually abandoned their vehicles to avoid icy conditions on the roads. A few hours away, Nashville, Tennessee, saw more than six inches of snow this week, recorded its coldest weather in three decades. And in the Northeast, Hardhead Buffalo is preparing to deal with even more lake effect snow, and that's on top of the three plus feet that some areas have already seen. For more on these frigid temperatures, let's get a closer look at your morning news now weather. Meteorologist Angie Lastman joins us with the forecast. Angie, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. We've got more of the same coming your way uh, in multiple spots across the country. The cold weather, the snow, the rain, the freezing rain, all on the table in some spots. Let's take a big picture look. You can notice we do have some snow across portions of the Great Lakes. That lake effect snow, it continues today. We're going to see more and more of that here as the days go on. And we've also got that next storm system impacting the west. A little bit of snow working through portions of the Rockies and eventually the central plains later today. When it comes to what we'll be dealing with, uh, we've got the winter storm or winter uh, weather alerts, I should say, up for 64 million people. They ex stretch from the west all the way to the east, and we'll likely see these become more expansive as the next couple of days go on. We've got a couple things going on. We've got one system that's going to spread some of that snow into the center of the country, and then we've got another system that's going to kind of develop this area of low pressure that brings the potential for some wintry kind of mix. So we've got the freezing rain, the ice, the snow all on the table for portions of the south. As we get into the later parts of today, that snow spreads into parts of the Midwest, and we see these two kind of systems combined and then lift all of that snow into the Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast, and the Great Lakes. That happens tomorrow. Early in the morning, I'd say in places like New York City, you'll see that commute be a little dicey. I think I-95 will be difficult to travel through the day tomorrow. So just plan a little extra time for yourself. And again, no surprise here, more of that lake effect snow happening. We don't have a whole lot of ice cover on the lakes. So this means that the lake effect snow machine, as we call it, continues. We also have the potential for some icy conditions out west. This is going to be really difficult for travel. Power outages will be likely. We saw a kind of round of this yesterday, and there's more to come. When it is all said and done here as we get through Saturday, we'll see another couple of inches of snow for some of those major cities that were super excited to see their first inch of snow in a while. We'll get maybe one to three inches. We're expected in places like New York, Philadelphia. The higher amounts are going to be uh, uh, you know, in the higher elevations and a along the lake. You can see places like, like Buffalo, Erie could all pick up a substantial amount of snow between now and then. So this will be um, another snowy couple of days for folks there. But I think, uh, you know, places like New York, another delightful kind of snowfall where it doesn't interrupt too much, but it does come during the morning commute tomorrow um, and last through the afternoon commute. We, we like a, a delightful snowfall. Yeah. <laughs> we had this drought and now I just feel like it's snowing here. Listen, if you if it has to snow, you might as well be happy about it. Exactly. Whether yeah. you're happy or not, it's still going to snow. <laughs> right. That's a good point. I yeah. like that attitude. You should, write, you should have a I'm book of like, positive outlooks like that about yeah. the weather. <laughs> yeah. Put it on my 2024 plans. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thanks Angie. Angie. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.